Hi, Gary here. You know, Warren Buffett's considered, you know, the sage of Omaha. Uh, when he speaks, most people listen because he's got a really great folksy way of, you know, explaining what's going on in the markets and those keys to successful investing. Well, go back 100 years, and there's a fellow named Henry Clues. Now, Henry Clues wrote a memoir after the Wall Street panic of 1907. And it was his 50 years on Wall Street. Now, he had been a, uh, a financial counsel to Ulysses S. Grant. He had helped uh, uh, create war bonds during the Civil War and then had spent all his time on Wall Street. So he has eight pointers at that point, 1907, uh, about how to invest. thought I'd read some of these to you and uh, see how they equate to what we know about today. So his first one was what it takes to be a great investor speculator. And he uses the term speculator a lot, but it really means investor. And so I quote from this first one, there is no mental discipline more severe and exacting than that of speculation. There is no pursuit in which a man can less afford to indulge in whims or prejudices or pet theories than that of stacking his money against the prospective changes in financial values. He must be as calm and as, par as impartial as a judge. You know, that has not changed. We know how much discipline it takes to be able to make returns relative to the market. It's difficult business. Second, embrace volatility. You know, a lot of you might be thinking, I'm scared of volatility, but he makes some interesting points here. There has hardly been a year within my recollection going back nearly 30 years when there have not been two or three squalls in the street during the year when it was possible to purchase stocks below their intrinsic value. Now, we hear this all the time from money managers who are trying to do that in their portfolios, to buy stocks below their intrinsic value. You know, buy low and buy when you can. So this is, this is not changed either. Number three, be wary of the financial media. Don't we know that more today? And he says, the utmost caution, scrutiny, and fidelity should be exercised in the procurement and publication of the news. Now, I believe we have more of that today than he had back then since the media was much more limited. Uh, number four, information by itself is not enough for success. And he quote, many speculators lose because the information on which they base their operations is insufficient, more because it is false and others because while their information is correct, they do not know how to turn it into an account. You know, that does not change today. You can have the information, but you're not sure there's multiple uh, pieces of that, how that affects overall decision making. Number five, I like this one. Humility is an important part of long-term investing success. And I quote, remind my readers that while it is often easy to make money, it is still easier to lose it. Therefore, boldness should be always tempered with caution. You know, he's basically saying, you know, we look at those folks back in the late 90s when they were investing in the latest dot coms and the tech stocks and everybody thinking they were an expert. And when that whole tech bubble crashed, people realized how difficult it is to invest appropriately in the markets. Uh, number six, leave stock speculation to the experts. Again, speculation is a business that must be studied as a specialty. Yet the ordinary man without special training in the business is liable to make as great a mistake in this attempt. And he goes on to say, the common delusion that expert knowledge is not required in speculation has wrecked many fortunes and reputations on Wall Street. You know, again, uh, it is difficult to make money and professional uh, investors and managers, you know that. And this is one of those classic cases of, you know, leave it to the experts. Number seven, always keep a cash reserve. Uh, he says, Sources, source of losses and speculation lies in the speculator not holding back a cash reserve sufficient to protect him against an adverse course of prices. And again, later on, it is common with inexperienced operators to use all of their available resources in their original margin. You know, this has not changed. You always want to keep cash on the side for volatile markets and making sure that you can ride it through the storm. And finally, huh, this is classic, number eight, 
History matters because there's nothing new on Wall Street. You know, the maxim that history repeats itself has been fully verified in Wall Street. And so Henry Clues, no different than Warren Buffett today, is going through the same thing. Those behavioral things that we uh, deal with every day, our knowledge and our wisdom all come together to be able to get a successful result over a long period of time. Thought you'd uh, be interested in seeing that perspective from over 100 years ago during the Gilded Age. So until next time, enjoy.